Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Robot Spirits or Robot Damashi Master Gundam. And I'm quite excited uh, for this figure. It goes along with the recently released God Gundam. I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you are, uh, want to get one as well. And I'm really happy for this. <laughs> and it's just one of those uh, very dynamic uh, figures along with the whole G Gundam series. And this is amazing. Yep. And also, I uh, have a cool gimmick. If you do get the SH Figure Arts Master Asia, which I actually got along with this one, um, you're able to swap out the head. So you have the face of Master Asia there. And I'm hoping that they re release uh, Domon on maybe it's more of a casual attire. And they will do the same thing uh, have a swappable head for Gal Gundam. We can only hope for. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. You know, it's not much to it. And let's take a look inside. Alright, we got Master Gundam here. He looks amazing. He has that uh, somewhat of a shine on him. That plastic. <laughs> really cool. Uh, and as most Robot Damashi or for the G Gundam one, you're gonna get the dynamic pose like Gun Gundam. So you get the head here, the neck. You get the shoulder here. And I think you also have a swing out, so you can see there. Really cool. Although it's always it gets me is this knob marks that I, I hoping that I can clean that up when they cut it from the runners and assemble the figure. <laughs> I wouldn't mind actually building a figure if they give you that option. I'll build it myself. <laughs> we got a connection part on the back here. Uh, that's a really nice bend on that one, on the midsection. Yeah, and uh, yeah, actually, you can extend it out, so you can um, yep, you get that bend. And you get the front skirts, the side skirt, just. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of on that L-shape uh, joint there, connected on the back skirt. Hmm. Oh, it does give you a, a variety or wider range of motion with that. Then you get the uh, connection port there for the, the stand. I still kind of wish that the stand is on the back with that extra piece. Because sometimes I find it when you have it in front like that, sometimes the connection is too big and you end up having a wider stance uh, on it. But then again, probably for the G Gundam, I'm, or any from the G Gundam, I'll probably have them just standing without the flight post, just have them standing on my shelf. Um, moving on, we have the knee. And it has the similar knee as the God Gundam, it has that little swivel there. Some people don't like it. I don't mind it. So, but this gives you a little bit more. Uh, if you just want to you know, turn the knee a little bit, uh, this one works quite well since. Uh, oh, you even have a movable that part there. That's cool. <laughs> uh, this one works well because you have this uh, the part here on the knee. It's kind of like the, a guard that prevents it from turning too much, and I think that was one of the concerns with the God Gundam. So that's great. And moving down, you have the ankle here. Then uh, this is actually in a ball joint. This uh, toe here, which is great. I'm hearing something. Hopefully, I'm not. This will allow for the uh, wide the stand poses. So that's really cool. And I think cover the knee. I think I forgot the elbow. You get almost a 180 degree bend. Not too bad. Uh, you got flaps here, the shoulder armor, yeah. Overall, a really great articulation so far, you know, for Master Gundam. Alright, so uh, that's about it for the main figure. Uh, let's look at the backpack and attach it. Alright, for the wings, and let's see what we got here. You're able to open it up. This is actually the back side. You get the connection point right there. Some cool pine lines underneath. Might help to, to add a bit of panel lining on it. 
and I don't think the wings open up. It doesn't show in, in instruction. It's just you're just basically getting that. <laughs> uh, you get uh, a ball joint here, which you can turn. Uh, again, we have that uh, swivel there. Uh, this is on a separate joint, and you can move it back and forth. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And you have a connection point right there as well. So I'm probably use that more than the one underneath him. Here we go. Push this down there. Snaps in place. It's great. You got the wings on the back. And there we go. Uh, this one doesn't have the cloaking version, which uh, we've seen on other things. I think I think the mole kit has that option or I can't quite remember. I haven't built a mole kit version of Master Gundam. Um, this is actually my first <laughs> iteration of Master Gundam. I was thinking of getting uh, the high grade but eh, I'll, I'll just stick with this one. Kind of interested too if they're going to make the robot Damashi Funsaiki. Um, not sure if they made one yet. Anyways, uh, we can open the wings. That's really cool. Yeah, a lot of cool poses with this one. And I think that's pretty much it for the backpack. Uh, let's take a look at the different uh, hands, accessories, and that's about it, I think. <laughs> and one thing I didn't try is you actually can uh, raise this uh, wings all the way up. It's kind of cool. And yep, I think that's the all the way up. Likewise on this, it's kind of like a... No, he's like a moth. Not so much for a butterfly, but more like a moth. Yeah. We're gonna just have that all the way up too. And now he's more menacing. <laughs> there we go. And we just gotta balance up his uh, legs. He is a little bit top heavy and a little bit more on the back. And there you go. Not too bad. I almost forgot to mention this is sometimes when you open it up you're gonna get this problem here where it's stuck and when I first got it, it's like what is wrong with this bend all the way put it back it's stuck then sometimes it goes in now what's happening is what, this part here it's it's holding it back so what you do is you kind of push it up that way it will go all the way in so don't be concerned when you cannot bend the knee back all the way because it has happened and you just press it, press it up and there it goes. I don't think it's a major uh, concern and it doesn't really bother me. It's an easy fix. Push it up. You can pull the legs back in. Yeah. There you go. I also forgot <laughs> another thing I just noticed. This one has the bolt joint also on the hand here. I think God Gundam has that too, or this other uh, robot that she has been doing that lately. It's kind of cool. Um, maybe you can swap out the hands or arms with that. Hmm, interesting. So let's just push this back in. There we go. It gives you a little bit more play on the elbow. Alright, so in terms of accessories, uh, we have quite a bit. We already have the closed fist, and he can actually fold his arms. Uh, you get that uh, cross arm uh, close enough. <laughs> Other than that, you have your regular open hands. You get a pair of them. Or well, they're more relaxed hands. Uh, sometimes they're, they're different uh, names for them. <laughs> then you have a pair of, uh, this is for holding his signature. I'm not too sure what they call this. The cloth, the linen. And I think you just connect one part there. Then you have the other part underneath. And it's not something that you can just... It's not one piece. Which is actually not too bad. Then you just connect this. If I can get that thing. There we go. And uh, let's do a quick swap over. Uh, let's check out what kind of polycaps. Or not polycaps. <laughs> joints. So you get a straight uh, bowl joint, and there we go, and uh, let's try this on, try not to break that wrist joint, it always scares me, <laughs> there we go, quite awesome, 
Uh, what else we got here? Then you have the different poses. So this is kind of like the fold down arm or fold down hand. Probably can do the crane pose. <laughs> and uh, this one where I think. I'm not sure if this is the one that you can bend up, huh? Oh yeah, it does because the, the joint here lets you do that. So let's try that one hand here. Pop this out. There we go. Push this in. That way. There we go. So we have him uh, pose. Or do a karate chop. Yep, cool gimmick. And I think, yeah, it's the same thing here. Alright, so, uh, and last but not least, we have the darkness finger. Yep, it's really nice, a purple. Well, it's more of a pink. It's pinker than the cloth linen, but it has that nice uh, glowing effect. Um, I think it's, uh, that's a little bit of shade of white to have that kind of glowing effect. Really cool. So to let's put this on, pop this out. <laughs> oh man, these joints. There we go. Uh, let's see. Here we. Go. I kind of wish they have the slit on the back too, so you can have it. Uh, see, this one prevents you from going all the way up like the other ones. It'll be great if they have added that, but they didn't. So you got that, and I'll probably just swap this back with the fist. Yeah, it's cool that it has a darkness uh, finger effect. Yeah. And, and there you have it. Alright, I got God Gundam along with uh, Master Gundam here. They look great right next, right next to each other and highly recommend uh, to, to pick these guys up. Um, I really like the stylized design again for the Robot Damashi. Really amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. Uh, look forward uh, for SH Figure Arts uh, Master Asia. I'll be reviewing that uh, eventually. But for now, I'm going to be enjoying uh, these two figures. I'm going to do, uh, you know, take photos, post them. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool poses I, I can do with this too. Alright, that's about it for the review. Again, I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the, the link down below if you want to check it out. And yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.